Hello, and welcome back to Coffee and Colorful Conversation. I'm going to give it a minute for some people to jump on live. So I have some exchange of energy when I know that somebody is out there and I'm not speaking to myself for the entire chat. So today's topic is, do you Demi? Uh, if you have followed me for any amount of time, you'll know that I am a huge fan of using the category of hair color that is demi-permanent. What does that mean? So we have our semi-permanent shades that are Rue Fancy Full Rinses. For those of you who went to beauty school as long ago as I did, it's a liquid color that squirts right out of a bottle and it can temporarily shift the tone in the hair. Uh, an example was we had the little senior citizen women who didn't love their gray color. They wanted a little pizzazz, but they did not want to go through coloring their hair. And we would put these different rinses on to turn it beige or super cool or even violety. Some of them like that little purpley tint to it. So it's completely temporary and it washes right out in the next shampoo. Other examples are Sebastian cellophanes, which are still around, but I'm sad to say when I looked it up to recommend it to a stylist, I, it was, you know, Amazon and all these other, you know, third party places that aren't for hairdressers. So that made me sad because it's a real quality product that's been around for a long time. Uh, if you want shine, oh my gosh, the shine from that product. A lot of people are using Shades EQ Clear Straight for shine and it is not the same thing. If you want just simply shine, Sebastian Cellophanes is the jam. Um, Clairol Jazzing I used back in the day. I'm not sure if that still exists. Uh, your Vivids, um, you know, straight out of the tube pink, straight out of the tube blue, straight out of the tube yellow, you get the message. It's pigment straight out of the tube, put on top of the hair, usually pre-lightened hair so that it can accept that tone and no developer necessary. So what is Demi? Demi is the next step towards permanent where it has a dedicated developer. It has, um, um, my gosh, I'm trying to think of the word in it. Um, my gosh, I'm going totally blank for the dyes. Anyway, it has the same dye quality of a permanent color minus the ability to lift and lighten hair. So I think most people have put it to the side as this glazing formula for highlights only. You know, oh, I'm going to pull out the Demi when I'm going to glaze my client because I just want to give it a kiss of some tone and, you know, not lift or do anything to permanently change the hair. So I think the confusion lies in when people say, oh, I want it to last longer. I want to go for the permanent versus the demi-permanent because they think of demi as washing out. Um, if I could think of the name of the, I want to say alkaline, but it's not alkaline. Um, but it's the same as permanent as far as the longevity. You know, it's not going to just simply wash out, especially when you use it for gray coverage. So I am an example. I want to show you several examples. I am an example of someone who uses only Demi to cover my gray because for 20 out of the 35 years that I've done hair and color, especially, I've struggled with brassiness and warmth on my own hair, as well as the hair of most of my clients that were that wanted to be lifted and lightened. So finally, you know, several years ago, I came to the conclusion that the underlying pigment in hair naturally that comes to the surface when you're lightening is just part of life. It's science, it's chemistry, it's never going away. So I made the decision probably about seven, no, maybe more, maybe 10 years ago to stop the madness and stop trying to do something that just simply wasn't possible. So instead, I used my Demi as a trick on the eye to make my base appear a little bit lighter than it is because the Demi color is simply only affecting the gray hair. That's the beauty of the Demi. 
It doesn't do anything to the natural color. Like my natural color is the color of my eyebrows. So it's not trying to lift or lighten that eyebrow color. What it's doing is taking away that gray and turning it into whatever number shade I put on there. So my formula is a level seven. So when people meet me and see me in person, they're like, oh, you're like a natural level seven. No, I'm not. I'm a five. But my gray has taken over the party and I'm going to show you what my gray looks like before I color it. So all of the gray pieces become the level seven pieces. The level five pieces are left alone. So therefore, no brassiness, no funky fade out, no weirdness, because I'm not disturbing my own natural pigment. So look at how that high percentage of gray is in that patch there. You know, people will say, oh, well, you can use Demi because you don't have a lot of gray. That's a lot of gray. That's the most amount of gray that I've seen in most of my clients. It's in one spot. It's not on my entire head, but it's still there. And as you can see, it's not there now. And this is all Demi color. So the other question that I have is, well, what do you do after it washes out? It doesn't wash out, guys. My hair has been colored Demi for 10 years. So if it washed out, would any of this hair not be gray? Like I wanna, I wanna debunk that myth. If it was totally washing out after three weeks or whatever you think that it washes out, I would have 100% gray on this entire strand because it's been nothing but Demi this whole entire time. There's no permanent in there. So it does not wash out. And you'll find out that if you've ever done a Demi to deposit color on someone who's going back to their natural and they're maybe a level four or a level three, and then they decide they want to go back to blonde again, you see that it does not, it's just as permanent as permanent um, as far as the longevity and trying to get it out of there and become blonde again. Um, let me show you some other examples that I use it for. So if this client were to sit in my chair, I would a thousand percent go right to Demi. She, pardon me, she only has gray right in the front. It's like tinsel flowing through her hair. It's not a major patch. It's a little wiry and angry. So using Demi on her is going to calm down that wiriness, you know, give it some shine. And I can turn those silver strands any shade that I want because in Demi color, here's an important point. In Demi color, that is the only time that what you see is what you get. Whatever I put on this strand in Demi color is going to be that color on the gray, not on the brown. If I were to do, you know, permanent color on this same swatch, it's going to lift and lighten and end up being a warmer version of itself minus the gray. So that is not what you see is what you get, right? If this is permanent color and it says that a level seven is going to turn this hair this color, this doesn't happen. And we're going to talk about this more in an upcoming workshop. So this is important to know. But in a Demi situation, what you see is what you get. My hair went from this <clears throat> to this because the gray became the color that was in the bottle. I know I'm talking fast. I get very excited. So some other examples, I showed you this woman. So for her strands, I would say to her, what do you think about us making those silver strands of yours a lighter color brown with zero maintenance. If we, let's call her Lisa. Lisa, if I color your hair today in what I'm proposing to you, you're going to have where your sparkles tinsel is right now that's gray that you don't like. That tinsel is going to be a milk chocolate color and it's going to be lighter than your color. So it's going to look like you have these beautiful strands going through your hair of a natural sun-kissed highlight no foils, no upcharge on the ticket price. And voila, you have a dimensional look in, you know, 25 minutes. You can add it on to a haircut at any time. And you really wouldn't even have to put that through the entire head. You could simply just put it in that front section because it's not going to do anything to the rest of her hair because it's too light. And we're going to go into more detail on that in the workshop. I couldn't possibly go that far on one of these chats. Um, Pamela, how gray are you back there? Um, you're talking about in the back. Unfortunately, it's getting more gray. <laughs> 
So it's, I promise you, you've seen me in person. I promise you, I'm not making it up. It stays. Um, Leslie, I am 50% in some spots and 25% in others. Um, it's very mixed throughout. Um, so that was an example. This is another example. This is in my book, A Colorful Journey. My client was a natural redhead. What happens to natural redheads is they lose their their warmth and their sparkle and their pizzazz of their red. And it becomes this like, we used to call it dishwater blonde. It becomes this like murky, muddy, just ashy natural color that you can tell they used to be a redhead, but it's lost its zest. So she was starting to get gray and she came to me for the first time. And I explained to her, you know, what my plan was. And I said, I can make your hair look like you have an entire head of foils and dimension without ever putting a foil in your hair. If you trust me, I'd like to do something different for you. And she was like, okay, I trust you. And she's been a lifelong client because what I did to her was simply apply well a color touch, one ounce of nine stroke zero three, it's natural gold and one ounce of nine gold. <clears throat> so the whole formula was gold, but it's that 14 karat gold at that high level. And even though that is a demi color, when you use lighter levels of a demi on hair that's naturally deeper, you're going to get just enough shift and lift to bring out that remaining pigment contribution of a little bit of red. So I was able to use a gold tone at a level nine and it slightly shifted her natural seven into say a seven and a half, which is a beautiful coppery strawberry color. So it was amazing and she loved it. And she's so loyal because she knows that any salon in the neighborhood, if she were to sit in their chair, they're going to struggle to match what I did to her hair with the Demi using permanent. And wherever she has natural hair that's not gray is going to be this wonky hot root mess. So if you struggle with hot roots at all, I promise you, if you come to this workshop and you understand the power of a Demi and how to use that versus trying to get tricky and fancy with formulating permanent color, it will change. It will rock your world. The biggest feedback, the most often feedback that I get in my um, Hair Color Secrets Insider membership is this Demi piece. OMG, I've never, I've never used Demi this way. OMG, I love this. You know, my client's so happy. She's not brassy anymore. She doesn't have to worry on vacation about her hair turning bright orange. There's so many great reasons to use it. So the traditional way is foiling hair to the high heavens to level 110 and then glazing it back down with Demi. That's always been the way that people have used Demi, whether it be liquid or cream. Um, an example of us using a Demi in a powerful way is this young girl came to us very distraught because it was her graduation photos the next day for high school. And she had done a home bray to herself. And this is how she ended up. And she went to another salon. They reacted, you know, very quickly and put bleach on. And it went from green to light blue and melted off five inches of her hair. So she came to us. We used a demi on her. And in 25 minutes, this is what she looked like with just Redken Shades EQ, just applied over top of that blue and then all over the rest of her hair. And she was camera ready, look like her, look how happy she is. Totally camera ready in 25 minutes. Um, great for a corrective tool. Um, the other way that I like to use it in corrections is um, root shadows, color melts, all of those things. This photo on the left was someone attempted to do freehand painting on her, did not leave it on long enough and left her very brassy. So if I were to try to just simply glaze that brassiness away, it's going to keep popping back up. So we went through and did some dimensional foils and then we drug down the um, Demi Permanent to give her, once you lift to that perfect level, then you can make that beautiful brass-free tan color that you're seeing there minus the brass, but it had to be relifted first. It doesn't just automatically, you know, take it to that without it going deeper. So these are all the things we're going to talk about. Now, 
Hair Color Secrets Insiders, we just sent you an email. You are not purchasing this class. This is not for you. You have all of this in your library of over 250 videos and lessons, and you already have all this information. Please do not click the link that I'm going to share and purchase this feeling like you're going to miss something. You're not going to miss anything. You've been through this probably multiple times and you have it in your library. This is for me to get in front of more hairstylists and help change their game behind the chair and introduce this category of Demi and how to really formulate to, to avoid brassiness and get excellent gray coverage. So it starts April 6th. You're going to hear me talk about it probably every day between now and then because my passion is paying forward all of the things that I've learned over the last 36 years in the industry and sharing it with others that will listen, that are open to the information. That's what I am here for. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to offer the information to those who are ready to receive it. So the, this workshop starts on April 6th. It's the 6th. Let me see. I have a banner that I can share. It's called Hair Color Formulation Simplified. It starts April 6th and it's on the 6th, the 11th and the 13th. And the reason for that is you're going to have actionable items after each one of those sessions that I want you to go back and do in the salon before we meet again. So this is a workshop. It's not just me, you know, yap, yap, yapping the whole time. It's going to be very useful information that you can take back immediately and see a difference behind your chair. Um, the link is on my website. You can go to my website. Let's see if I have a link on here. So this is my website, www.expertcolorsolutions.com. Go to the website and there is a button you can click on there to sign up for this workshop starting on April 6th. Um, please share with a friend. If you have a friend in the salon that you know is struggling because as you know, I talk about often that there's two different kinds of formulators. There's the guessing, stressing, and grabbing a friend in the salon formulator that's always anxious, always worried about the outcome. And then there's the fierce, confident formulator that knows the fundamentals of color inside and out. And they know, as well as I know, before I pick up that bottle of color or that bowl and brush, I know what the outcome is going to be because I have a system and a roadmap. I know the questions that I have to ask. I know what I need to know before I start the service. So much of the magic happens before you even touch their hair. And I really want to hone in on that point that when we, re we get reactive, if you start mixing your client's color while they're parking, who's guilty of that? I'm sure there's a couple of you that are mixing up Sally's color Oh, you just saw her pull up. Let me get it mixed up so I don't waste any time. Stop doing that. There's so many other things that Sally might want that day. She may want a face frame highlight. She may want to go put a little toe into the strawberry side. She may want to go back to her natural. She may want some low lights. Have those conversations and also give yourself the time and grace to really have a plan in your head of what you're going to do instead of reacting and just pulling shades off the shelf. So I wanted to share one other thing on here that I found super helpful. I always tell people, people say, where can I go for color classes? And I say, do a swatching class. It'll be the best class you ever go to. So this is the before, 50% gray, 50% natural hair. I wanted to show you on my swatches. Let me take this banner off. So this was Redken 10 Minute Color Gels. 7N, color gels, regular color gels, 7N, cream color in a 7 double N, Redken Shades EQ liquid, 7NB, and Wella Color Touch, 7 stroke zero. So all those swatches came out to be the exact same result. Two, three of them were permanent color. One was 10 minute, one was a double N, one was a regular N, one was a liquid demi, and one was a um, cream demi. They all produced the same result. Let's talk about why in the workshop. We're going to get into the why, the how, and the what to do moving forward. I hope to see you there. Thanks for listening to this coffee chat. Please share with others. Check out my YouTube channel and check out my podcast, Ask the Color Expert. I hope that you will leave a review on 
the podcast so that more hairstylists can find it. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you soon.